be a pretty good idea, and it ended up morphing completely into something totally different. And so now we're trying to take that snowball, keep it going with a brand new group, and try to you know, keep snowballing until it develops into something that we think is just transformative. It's, a, it's good to have a focus group and just kind of see where the ideas flow. The number one thing that agents, attorneys, lenders all need is more time. Mm -hmm. For you guys to be able to come in and help us just streamline that and it's automatic and we don't have to think about it and that takes one thing off of our plate so we can go out and sell more. Yeah. I think that's a huge you, value add. You know, I'm thinking at the same time, why do I send these guys my clients? And I. So you I want to leave? Is that what you're saying? What, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but fundamentally, the, re the reason why I do is because when I send business to you guys, it makes my life easier because my clients are happy. Right? Yeah. So it's now part of my process. Because you guys are already doing a phenomenal job of covering your bases, right? And, and so the key here, like the extra mile or the extra extra mile, is, is being memorable. Yeah. Sharon, what, what, what do you do uh, currently to stay top of mind and connect with your, with your old clients? I'm constantly entertaining them, whether it's taking them out to dinner or lunch or meeting them for coffee, just kind of staying mm. in that personal touch. A huge time suck for us is developing the content. You guys are really good with systems and processes and business planning, so help us with our business plan. And you've given me great ideas to run my business, and that's probably the most value that you've provided for me, mm -hmm. is things that I didn't think of. Certain tools, like, certain yeah. systems, yeah. So you guys can help uh, agents build their plan. Mm. I think that goes back, you said the number one reason that people use you is because you have your systems and process. I disagree. The number one reason is we are all in the relationship business, every single one of us. So it's the relationship first, and then it's having those systems and processes in place second. We do not want to replace the relationship part if that is the core. That's right. Why do you guys use Gina? I like them. Mm -hmm. I really like them. I like them, and I know them. Look, when I introduce vendor partners, it's not about how great, you know, what great insurance agents they are. The way I make the introduction is, is by saying the wonderful Thanks human that. beings. Mm. So I think it's a combination of going back to helping with content creation, right? Because that's what is so time consuming, but then also that personal touch. And allow them to get to know you. You're providing opportunities and value for people. And if they're not taking advantage of it, it's kind of like, that's on you. And I'm thinking back, as we've been talking, I've been thinking back about my relationship with you guys. You have me already. There's nothing you, there's nothing you guys can do to get more of my business because you're I literally don't even think of anyone else on the insurance front. On top of what I'm doing, the only thing you can get from me is maybe more introductions to my professional circles, mm. not from my clients, because you already got them. Uh, guys, this has been great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. It's been great. Thank you. Seeing all of you. Yeah. yeah. Pleasure. Absolutely. Job. Yes. Go on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. This, these things accomplish two points for us. One, we get to reconnect with you guys, get to break bread, chat. But two, like strategy discussions. I would say that the top five things that Matt and I just like to do in general. Like the whole purpose of why you guys are here is we want to listen to our market. Yep. Yeah. Right, right. So as long as you just you remain, the stat, remain the status quo, you guys have all my business. So I, I think the challenge for you guys is, okay, well, how do we, how do we like parlay that into getting other people? Well, Thanks, guys. Really, really, really helpful. Thank you guys. Really, really. Thank you. Thank you. you too. You look good. You look very sharp. Thank you. Good to see Thank you. you. Thank you. Too. <laughs>So tell me like what the conference was like for, how many attendees, what the agenda, like what'd you do? How you do anything is how you do everything. It was like the first thing up on the board. And then it just kind of got deep into like, I don't know, mm -hmm. how you go through your life. When I came back, it was like right away and we decided let's just make the switch and do something new and like have no regrets. What's the next step? So clearly you got a lot of value from that. What are you doing next? I would have done the second session. I like yeah. just did not like but there's something similar in New York. Have either of you in the last few years uh, found that you wanted to change something about what you do, how you do it, how often you do it? You actually did it? You actually accomplished that change? So for me, I try to read more inspirational things, do more positive things, 
Mm. Um, I got really into yoga. Love to hear sort of like, what was the tipping point for you that caused you to say, you know what, I need to add to my team? And then how that experience has been in the last year. Oh, yeah. I moved out of the group I was working in at Sotheby's. We reconnected and we just thought it was a really good fit. Like, mm. we show up in the same outfit all the time. Yeah. We enjoy the same things. Like, we care about taking care of the client. We care about, like, spending the time with them. Yeah. Like, within Compass, there's this culture and... I think that's what we love so much about it, and it's like comfortable, and people are just good to each other, and like I want the same thing. When you hear the word successful, who's the first person you think of? Be my brother. Awesome. Um, has a great career, and is very like a great person to look up to. I always have since I was little. He went to school. I went to BC. Just you know, always he was the first one in my family to go to college. My parents came here from another country, so they didn't mm. do any of that stuff. The last six months, you're. Uh, your biggest change, like the biggest purchase change for under $100? I would say my flight to LA. Mm. No, that, that was over 100 bucks though. No, it wasn't. I thought it on points. So technically it wasn't. Boom! <laughs> she takes that curveball and hits yeah. you with a slider. Started doing a gratitude list. So yes. Like every day I write down three things, even if it's something small, whatever it is. Everything Especially if it's for. something small. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what one thing that you've done in the last five years has driven the most amount of success in your business? It's funny, probably LinkedIn, like as a, as a tool. Mm. So it was, yeah, five years ago, exactly. But thank you for today. No, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. really appreciate it. It's fun watching you guys work together. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, your shoe games are strong. Hi. <laughs> I thought you said thanks. Hi, thanks. <laughs> this is my biggest challenge.